Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Geological and Astronomical channel. This video will be a comparison of rocky planets and gas planets. I hope you will like this informative and easy to understand video, please enjoy. Definition of rocky planets and gas planets. To be able to compare the both, we must be able to define the meaning of rocky planets and gas planets. Rocky planets are also called the inner planets. They are Mercury, Venus, Earth and Mars. In contrast, gas planets are also called the outer planets, consisting of Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. The asteroid belt also separates the rocky planets and the gas planets apart. The materials rocky planets and gas planets are made up of. Rocky planets, as the name suggests, are made up of solid metals and rocks. These planets share common materials like hard iron nickel cores and silicon surrounding them, with much more metals like aluminum and lead also found in other layers, but in lesser amounts. Gas planets are mainly made of gases, with hydrogen and helium on the surface, although it has a solid core in the middle due to the immense pressure of gas surrounding the core. The layers that form the rocky planets and gas planets Rocky planets share an almost identical structure, with a solid, hot inner core, an equally hot thick liquid iron outer core, followed by a huge layer of solid mantle composed of silicate metals and a relatively thin layer of crust on top, which is also the surface of rocky planets and the layer we stand on. Gas planets have a near solid core, made of molten heavy metals, and a thick layer of gas. Gas planets do not have a crust as the planet is mostly made of gas, so there is no such thing as the surface of the planet. Sizes and positions of rocky planets and gas planets. You may have noticed that rocky planets are much smaller than gas planets. The reason for this dates all the way back when the solar system was formed, elements like iron and nickel came in smaller mounds, and the rocky planets therefore became a lot smaller. Due to gravity, these heavy metals fell towards the Sun, and this is also why the planets are found nearer to the Sun. Lighter elements like helium and hydrogen were most abundant in the early solar system, and due to the effects of stellar wind and centrifugal force combined, these light gases formed on the outer band of the solar system. Thank you for watching my video, and I hope you have benefited from this video. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. See you in the next video.